What in the world is happening here? <laughs> Did you guys get it? What? Did you get it? Hey! <laughs> Fifth Avenue restocked the Ray Gun Dunks. I don't know if they actually did, but I got two messages saying that they did. So I'm going to put some money on the fact that they did. I'm hurrying there right now. I don't even know if I have enough battery on my board to get there. I definitely don't have enough battery to get back, but we are getting there as quick as possible. Fingers crossed they still have them. This would be so amazing if they actually had them. I would be so ridiculously excited. I mean, I doubt they're gonna have them, but I hope they have them. Do they still have pairs left? <sighs> okay, there's a line of like, I don't know, eight or nine people ahead of me. I don't know how many pairs they have. There's a bunch of people outside the store holding pairs, so. Oh, oh, I can, okay, they have like at least eight or nine pairs. I, I think we're good. 12. Okay, full disclosure, I was in such a rush to grab my camera and get out the door that I didn't realize that my camera was on manual focus. So as a result, the next portion of the video will be incredibly, painfully, unfortunately, very blurry. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. I, I appreciate you guys, like three or four of you guys mentioned me or DM'd me on Instagram that these restocked at Nike. I guess maybe, I don't even think they originally released there, so they just released them late at Nike or so. I, I'm honestly not sure what happened, but the point is I was able to get a pair of these. Now, to be 100% honest, I don't even really like these that much, and I wasn't excited because I really wanted this pair of shoes. I was just excited because, oh, my bag is blowing away. I was just excited because I wanted the opportunity to get these. Uh, these are 100% going in the January mystery box. If you haven't received your December mystery box, don't worry. I think lots of them got caught up at the border. Canadian customs can take a while sometimes. If you're worried, just shoot me an email. These are definitely something. I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely something. They are a ridiculously unique shoe. The last time I talked about these, lots of you guys are saying, oh Tom, the reason you don't like them is because you don't know the history behind them. You don't know the Nike ads. No, I know the Nike ads. Nike made this whole ad campaign around having a fake ABA team called the Aliens, and this was their logo, and they had a whole commercial and ad campaign about it. And I'm completely aware of that. I knew that. But that doesn't change how the shoe looks. Like, I don't buy shoes because of the story or the marketing campaign behind them. I buy shoes because of how they're gonna look on my feet. And I just don't think these would look very good on my feet. I don't know, it's such a weird combination of colors and leather and, I mean, I do like that alien patch there. I have to give it to them. I do like the embroidered alien on the ankle or the heel there. I do think that is really, really cool, but just the color combination is so bizarre. There's white and then black and then tie-dye and it's just, very, very, very strange, and I don't know how I feel about it overall, so I, I just can't see myself wearing this pair of shoes. But retail is only $100, which is absolutely amazing. So this is gonna be a great, inexpensive sneaker that I can throw into the mystery boxes and surprise one of you guys with. Uh, the January mystery boxes, we don't have any of the shirts announced for it. All that stuff will be coming in around two weeks anyway, though. Uh, not my favorite shoe I've ever seen in the world, but for $100, I do have to say, even if they weren't hyped up, just for $100, it is really, really good value to get a dope pair of shoes that's, you know, sort of limited, sort of hyped up for 100 bucks. It's within most people's budgets to be able to afford these, which I do like. I like that Nike puts out some, you know, quote unquote, more affordable hyped releases sometimes because they could have easily sold these for 150 and they still would have sold out but i mean they kept it at 100 dunks are notoriously and historically pretty cheap so i'm happy they did that that being said um my boosted board is 100 percent out of battery because i didn't know i was going anywhere when i left and i forgot to charge it and i don't even know if i have my metro card on me because i ran out of the house 
So we're gonna have to figure out how I'm getting back to my apartment. That was a really, really cool phone meeting. Quick shower and change of clothes. And we are back in Soho. Okay, we had a bit of an incident earlier this morning on the boosted board. I was driving in the bike lane as you're supposed to do in the bike lane and then someone just wasn't paying attention at an intersection and wanted to step out in front to wait to cross the street and didn't check the bike lane. I had to swerve out at the last moment. While I'm swerving out trying to avoid this person, this cab turns, the cab was completely in the right to turn and then right into the cab. I'm completely fine. I mean, I, I stopped it with my hands. I had time to slow down a good amount. I'm very lucky that I have a helmet now. Just, just wear a helmet if you're going to ride a board in the middle of New York City. It's not the safest thing on earth. This lady started screaming at me. Not, not the lady that I almost hit, but some lady on the sidewalk saying, it's not safe to be riding this. And just like, she, she was really screaming a lot. Like it was like she was my disappointed grandmother or something. I'm good. Okay. No, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't think it was anyone's fault. Definitely wasn't the cab's fault. Probably wasn't my fault, and I don't think it was the pedestrian's fault. I mean, maybe they should have been looking, but everyone's fine. I just wanted to, I wish I got better footage of it though. Like I really wish I got, point being, everyone is fine. Okay, I have a lot of mail. I have boxes here, I have a box here. This one is the heaviest, this one's the heaviest. We're gonna open up this one today. Where are my keys? Genuinely, absolutely no idea what is in this box. Oh. I don't, maybe I don't need my keys. Not bad at all. And the apartment slowly comes together because ladies and gentlemen, I don't remember buying this to be 100% honest with you, but I bought another chair, which is 100% identical to this chair. <laughs> 